Arnold Schwarzenegger is not only a man with muscles of steel, but also a man of iron will. He's an American bodybuilder, movie actor, and political figure of Austrian origin. He's the honor of countless bodybuilding awards and is best known for his role as the Terminator T-800. His achievements in movies and sports are incredible. It's hard to believe that one man could achieve all that. Arnold Lloyd Schwarzenegger was born on July 3, 1947, in Tau, near Graz, Austria. His parents were devout Catholics, his mother was a housewife and his father worked as a policeman. So, as you can imagine, the boy was brought up in a very strict and conservative way. His father, Gustav in particular, kept a tight rein on Arnold. And it was his father who urged the future actor to get into sports. Well, a very smart decision indeed. First, it was football, and then no points for guessing bodybuilding. Gustav did not recognize the boy's passion for the gym and it damaged their relationship. The actor's family troubles were so unresolved that he decided not to attend the funeral of his father as well as his older brother. By the way, we have a separate video about the story on our channel. It's quite interesting. There is much more to it. Anyway, at the age of 18, Arnold joined the army. After serving, he moved to Munich where he found a job in a fitness club. At the time the money was extremely tight. Poor Arnold had to sleep on the gym floor. And on top of that, the future actor routinely got into fistfights and the police routinely fined him. Well, at least it was anything but boring. Arnold described himself at the time as a bull who was gaining muscle. But the night is darkest just before dawn. After a period of failure, there was a bright streak. In the 60s, Arnold gets into the second stage of the Mr. Universe contest, but it wasn't until the next year that he got the long-awaited title. He held the Mr. Olympia title for five consecutive years and became a true legend of bodybuilding. Many people considered Schwarzenegger's physique perfect and wanted to be like him. Well, realistically, at least a bit more like him. That's why he decided to write the book Encyclopedia of Bodybuilding. In it, the famous bodybuilder told about all the nuances of training for any muscle group. Under the influence of his bodybuilder idols, Arnold decided to start an acting career. But it was easier said than done. To start with, he had too much muscle mass 115 kilos with a height of 188 centimeters. His fake German accent did not help either, so he received mainly occasional roles with minimal script between shooting unattended acting lessons, reduced weight, and trying to get rid of the accent. His homography begins with the film Hercules in New York, which was released in 1969. In retrospect, and said that this was his least favorite film for a very long time. The actor's fees left much to be desired. At first, his acting was so hilariously bad that he was nominated for the Golden Raspberry Award. Now that says something. Comedian Robin Williams even once joked that it was only Scottish colleague Lessie that said fewer words than Schwarzenegger. In 1984, James Cameron's The Terminator was released and the film gave Arnold worldwide fame. Naturally, soon the sequel was greenlit. In one of the interviews, the director said that after reading the script, the performer of T-800 had rather mixed feelings. Allegedly, he was very confused, to say the least, by his character's behavior. He said something along the lines of Jim, I don't like the script at all. I am the Terminator and yet I don't kill anybody. And while Schwarzenegger's skepticism was understandable, as we know, his confusion did not interfere with the success of the sequel. Quite possibly, Alt would not have had any questions about the script had he followed the scriptwriter's example. But fortunately, after he talked, there was no need to resort to mind-expanding techniques. In 1985, the movie Commando was released. While shooting the movie, Arnold insisted on doing all the stunts himself because, according to the actor's humble remark, it was utterly impossible to find doubles with a similar body composition. Even for a close-up shot of Matrix's hand putting the knife into its sheath, Arnold insisted on using his one-of-a-kind hand. As a result, the actor cut his hand and was sent to the hospital. The actor tried very hard to get away from the clinging image of a silent iron-class killer. For this purpose, he starred in comedy. During this period, he starred in Gemini. So the actor was starring in comedies as often as in action films. In the year 1990, the movie, 
Total Recall comes out in the subway scene where the guy breaks the window of the car and jumps on the train. A small explosive charge was used. However, in one of the takes, the explosive did not go off and the actor broke the glass with his hand. In 1994, Annie starred in True Lies, though a full-length sequel was never made, even though James Cameron and many of the actors from the original cast, including Arnold, were interested in continuing the project. The main reason for that was the election of Schwarzenegger as governor of California. The sixth part of the Terminator franchise, which came out in 2019, was assigned to the Oscar nominee, Tim Miller, the director of Deadpool and the creator of the title sequence of The Girl with a Dragon Tattoo plotwise. The new film was not related to the previous ones. Since 2020, Schwarzenegger has been working on the voiceover of the animated film superhero Kindergarten. In one of the episodes, he will voice his cameo. He will also voice the president in the cartoon Kong Fury 2. Arnold's personal life has been extremely turbulent and intense, even though he was legally married for 25 years. Let's just say his life about relationships has always remained diverse. In 1969, Schwarzenegger met Barbara Baker, an English teacher. But this relationship didn't last very long. According to Arnie's recollections, she was a sensible woman who, above all, wanted a solid, normal-life penis for him. Well, he was not a sensible man and hated the very idea of ordinary life. So you can see why it didn't quite work out. Barbara described Arnold as cheerful, charismatic, adventurous, and athletic. But the reason for the breakup was that he had become unbearable. It was as if the world revolved around him. In 1977, the actor also began dating TV journalist Maria Shriver, a niece of President John F. Kennedy. After nine years, the couple married, and they had four children Catherine, Christina, Patrick, and Christopher. Interestingly, in many ways, Arnold has become as strict of a parent as his father. Who would have thought? In 2011, Schwarzenegger decided to get back into acting. After leaving his post as governor of California and announcing the breakup of his marriage, Schwarzenegger became the father of a child out of wedlock, Joseph, who was born by one of his housekeepers, Mildred Buena. Arnold's wife had tolerated his affairs for a long time, turning a blind eye to his short-term affairs, but this was something she simply could not forgive. Arnie did not give up sports. Even despite his age, he's often sported on bicycle walks. The actor regularly goes to the gym. Thanks for watching.